Um, mm -hmm. And this was something that I had to learn quickly when I when I started was, yeah. uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's your baby. It's your thing. It's your business. So you have to build it. You have to love it. You have to be proud of it. And you've got to grow it to the point where you've got every system in place for them mm -hmm. to someone to come in and just do a job for you. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that you, you know, I was in that position as well, because when you're first starting, you're doing a lot of things. You're doing the marketing, yeah. you're doing the selling, you're doing the coaching, you're, you know, you're doing the network, you're doing everything, which is good. But obviously we all want to bring in someone that's going to love the baby as mm -hmm. we love it. But the truth is it's that isn't going to happen. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to put in the work, you've got to do everything. You've got to build it to a way where someone can just come in and just do a job for you. So you've yeah. got to now by yourself structure it and, and create it in a way which it works for you and your lifestyle. And mm -hmm. also you're, you're charging enough to be able to do this full time so that it can be yeah. your number one focus. Yeah. Okay. So what I was doing, and I'll, I'll give you my example so you can kind of you know, relate and, and resonate to it. So when I started, I was doing, you know, I was doing on average about 20 to 30 one-on-one -on -one sessions per week, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I found out very quickly was, all right, this is great because I'm working with a lot of players, but every time a new player was coming into me, into my ecosystem, it's like yeah. the only way I could grow it was to add an extra training session per week. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sat down and I've done the maths. I said, right, if I'm doing 30 sessions now and I want to bring 10 new clients, that means I've got to do 40 sessions now a week. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. you know, I was getting to Sunday and I was thinking, fucking hell, like mm -hmm, I'm, yeah. I'm destroyed. Crushed, I've, got, yeah. I've got to do it all again next week. So yeah. what would be good for you, right? Now we've I work with some coaches that who are working with 200 clients and they run the entire business by themselves. All right. Now the way they do that is obviously they have to be very organized and everything's done in groups. So yes. the way that you can do it by yourself to grow and scale is you can pick one day of the week or maybe two days and those are your your training days. Right. So you might, yeah. I don't know, for example, you might pick a Tuesday. You run back to back training sessions on the Tuesday. All your sessions are in groups. So you, you might have, you know, 10 to 15 players per group on the Tuesday. And then on the Thursday, you run your your other group sessions. You might do another back to back session. OK. And then yeah. the, the rest of the week, all you're doing is you're doing the marketing, the sales, and you're growing the business. Yeah. Right? And then when it gets to a point where you're like, okay, there's a lot of parents that want to join that, you know, you can create a waiting list and then mm -hmm. create another group, but keep it on that day, on one of those two days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can also add an extra day. That's entirely up to you as well. Right. But the way to maximize your time especially if you if you want to do you know if you if you want to do this by yourself right because at the end of the day no one's going to look after your business better than you no. okay no, no one's got no one's going to put in 100% effort like you so if yeah. you want to structure it in a way where you know it's not consuming so much of your time you can do set day set time with your training you move it either to the saturday or the friday or the thursday whichever it works and in the rest of the week, you're there doing the admin side, the operation side, mm -hmm. which is selling, marketing, talking to parents, uh, going into yeah. schools. Okay, So mm -hmm. that essentially is how I did it. Right. I, I said, right, I can't do 30 sessions a week anymore. So mm -hmm. I had to make a hard decision. I said, right, I'm going to move <clears throat> everything into groups because it's going to be a lot easier. So. Yeah. 
I ended up from 30 training sessions, I moved all those clients into two, into two groups and I went from 30 sessions to two, two hours of training per week.